So it's bringing right now Hugh Odom. He's a former attorney for AT&T and founder of Here to further Vertical discuss the big concerns surrounding the Biden administration. Like in everything, you negotiate a deal out for a transaction based upon what you're getting and what they're giving up on the other side. For a cell tower lease, it's no different. You're trading three commodities. I know that sounds weird, but they're commodities to the, to the cell tower company. Let's talk about those. One, time. The amount of time you're allowing them to use your property is a valuable commodity. They want to come out and get as much time as possible. That means they want 20, 30, 40, 50, even almost 100 years. Why? Because they value that time. It's a commodity to them. They never want to come back and ask you for more time. Because when they do that, you have more leverage. You want to make sure that you give them enough time, but not too much. If you give them too much, you lose an opportunity to renegotiate the lease sooner than later. And that costs you money. You need to understand there's a significant amount of time that you need to provide, but not too much. Let's talk about the second commodity. That's space. Cell tower companies will ask for up to 10,000 square feet, if not more, of space to build a cell tower. Let me tell you right now, they don't need it. They don't need anywhere close to it. They need closer to two or 3,000 square feet. So why are they ask for 10,000? Very simple. They want to get as much as possible. So again, they never have to come back to you to ask for more. That space is a commodity. Guess what they're going to do with that additional two, three, four, five, six thousand square feet? Nothing. They're not going to build one thing on top of it. What they're going to do is going to lease it out to other companies and make money off of your property. That's right. They're going to do nothing and take your property and make money from it. You need to retain that space. If you retain that space, you could do one of two things. You can directly lease it out to a company like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, who wants to go on that cell tower, or when the cell tower company needs additional space to put somebody on those areas, you can make more money by leasing it directly to that cell tower company. Don't give up too much space. If a cell tower company tells you they need 10,000 square feet, they're not being honest with you. They need a lot less. They're just trying to take your asset and make it theirs. And third is use. A cell tower company will come to you and say, we need unlimited use to this area we're leasing. That means they can do anything inside of it related to that cell tower. What are they going to do? They're going to do basic things. One, they're going to take that space and lease it out to other companies and make money from them. Again, not paying you one penny more of rent. Second thing is, they want the ability to upgrade their equipment over and over and over and over. That means they're getting more value from your property and you're not getting paid anything for it. You need to make sure that you give them the right to use your property, but don't give them unfeathered, unrestricted rights. If you do, that just means, again, they're going to be making more money. You're not going to be making anything more. If you want to understand how to structure a lease properly to get the full value of those three commodities I mentioned, time, space, and use, contact us today to get more information. And always feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more.